Hello, welcome back to my channel. We are going to start my declutter series. I'm going to put you on my bigger tripod and face you towards the drawers. We're definitely going to do primers. I'll go through my like extra skincare stuff that's over there, powder, foundation, maybe concealer. We'll see how far down we get. What I actually end up doing will be in the description on the video because I'm going to try and monitor the time. I don't want these to be terribly long. Getting into the highlighters, the blush, the bronzers, the creams, my face palettes, and definitely the eyeshadow palettes, those will be longer videos. So I'm going to try and keep the beginning ones a little bit shorter. But yeah, if you want to declutter with me, then stick around. Also make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the other parts because again, we're going to start at the top and I'll film these in chunks going through the drawers and then we'll finish up with eyeshadow palettes. You don't want to miss out on all of those. So let's go. Okay. So here's the drawer. We're going to start at the top. We'll go down. and get you to where you can see. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Okay. Up here I have extra skincare like that's still good. There's a little this is my Bobbi Brown cream that I refill. I don't think any of this stuff is expired. I have my sunscreens in here, moist extra moisturizers. I think these are all okay. And then there's primers. Is there anything in here? I got my elf ones. This Rimmel one is new. Let's make sure. This is a Laura Geller hydrating. Just want to make sure. It smells fine. None of these are expired. I have a Dominique Cosmetics. This is a blur and moisturize serum primer. I don't think this one's ever been used. There it goes. Okay. That was brand new, apparently. Doesn't mean it's not expired. It smells fine. Okay. Those are okay. I have gone through this more recently, so I think those are all okay. Main thing is making sure stuff's not expired. Okay, in here... We have foundation. Let me bring you down a little bit. Foundation and powder. Uh, my Revlon, not Revlon, Revolution, the Skin Finish and Opalescent. I don't know if they even still sell this. And my lid is broken. I need to put some tape in here, but it gives you kind of a shimmery, like not a shimmery, but a glow. Um, the MAC... I think it's a dupe for like a MAC skin finish, I think. I've never used that, but see, I like the Tarte. I'm going to keep this. I like my Elf Halo Powder. Let's see if there's anything I don't like. I've been using this ColourPop one. I like that. This is pressed. Let's see. This is Cinegens in Light. I might be able to declutter that. I just don't know that I use it. A lot of these little ones I keep for travel. Let's see, I have one from Apocalyptic Beauty. It's just a white powder. That one could probably go. Let's see, this is a Rachel Couture translucent powder. I have so many that they just don't fit in the drawer. This Fenty Kilowatt, it's a highlighter, but I use it in a similar to that. It just gives you a nice glow. Pressed powder. I don't know how I feel about this camo one. I need to try this because I don't know if I even like that. Number seven, I like. Revlon Color Stay, I like. Mally. I think this is just a pressed powder. Yeah, those are fine. I don't have a ton of pressed powder. It's mostly loose. OPV. This is just translucent. I reuse Lunar Beauty. Fit Me. There's Fenty in Butter. Too Faced. Cody Airspun. I just have more. 
and what wants to fit in this drawer. I don't know how I feel about this. My problem is, is I can't get the right shade. This is brand new. What are you? I got a little bit darker. This is in Fair 140. I need to try this and see if this even works because I had a shade that was like 100, way, way too light. Absolutely did not work. Close. Yeah, because I'm at a point where like this isn't wanting to shut. So like I'll keep the Cinegens one if it'll fit there in that space. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this little apocalyptic one. See, the problem is now this one. I think, oh, is there a spot here? Nope, that's not going to fit there. Um, I think the elf powder might fit there. This Rachel Couture, I think I got in a subscription box. That one I'll pass on. I'll get rid of that. Just because, like I said, this drawer... And then I thought that these aren't in here. Does not want to shut. I need to be able to close the drawer. Okay, so I think we're okay. I don't know that I'm going to reach for this. So I think I'll try and pass the Cinegens one on while it's still good. Just because I don't want it to expire. Because that would be not good and wasteful. So... That'll clear out a little bit more space too. Okay. I do have a skin tint from them and I think I may let it go just because it's too light. I need a darker shade. I got mine in fair when I was way lighter. So I think I can pass that on because I'm not reaching for it. I have my mineral powder foundation from Mary Kay. I do have a mix in medium because I had a bunch of stuff that was too dark. I have a bunch of tinted moisturizers in different shades, foundations. I think these are all fine. And then it's one of those, if I realize that they don't, I'm going to pull this one out just because um, we're going to a Christmas party tomorrow. So I, think I might try and wear that. But if anything's expired, Usually I find it when I use it, but I think I'm going to let the Cinegens thing go just because it's not the right shade and I'm not reaching for it because it's, it's a little bit light. So these ones can go and this one I'm going to set on my table. Okay. Because again, I try if I'm not getting new stuff and like it doesn't bother me if this doesn't open like super easily, but as long as I can close the door. Okay, so let's see. Let me look at concealers. Let me move you down a little bit more one more time. Just, I think that's as low as it'll go. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, let's see. I've got ColourPop. Is there any in here that I don't think I'm going to use? I don't know that I loved this Peachy Corrector from V Cosmetic. And I think I have one from Tarte coming. So I think I might let that go. I do still have my Pixie one. Flower Beauty Concealer I think is fine. Complex Culture. This is Ipsy's brand. Got a couple of e.l.f. concealers in different shades. Revolution, Item Beauty. I do have a Cinegens one that I think is nice. I think I can let that go and maybe the Complex Culture go. Just because, again, and then this is a Bright On Eye Balm. I don't think I'm ever going to use that. That could probably go away. I tend to reach for the same ones over and over. I'm liking my ABH one right now, so I'm going to get rid of this Kaylin Eye Balm. This color corrector in Peachy, just because, I don't know, I think maybe, yeah, I think I'll let that go. Because like I said, I think I have a Tarte one coming, and then this Complex Culture Concealer could probably just go, because there's a bunch. I have NYX in here. I don't use color corrector all that often. Eye primers. I've got Kaleidos, Milani. There's the Alamar, which is like a gripping primer. There's a white base. 
this one from Ofra. It's a gel eye primer. I could probably let that go because I don't tend to reach for that and that I think is close to expiring. And then I have colored like eyeshadows for bases, sticks, eyebrow stuff. I went through this recently and pulled stuff out that was too light. So I think everything in the eyebrow basket is fine. And then same thing with mascara. Even if I don't like them, I just use them up. And then when they're dried out, I throw them away. So I don't think there's anything. But we got a couple of concealer things and an eye primer that I can pass on. So let's do one more basket. Let me see. I think I can bring you down one more level. And I got to be careful about bending over. I hurt my back a while ago. So again, with the eye pens, I'm not going to sit here and swatch them all. I went through these not that long ago. So if I reach for something and it's not good, these are just black eyeliners. I just use them until they're not good. And then like I have a colored red one, a white one. These are both from ZC. I think I got, is this blue? This one's blue. If any of these are dried out, I just toss them. Um, eye pencils. I went through this. I found my blue one because I like couldn't find one. It ended up in my overflow because I think I thought this was the same as like the deep purple. Because in the dark, they're very close. But I was like, I swear I had a blue one. I did. I found it the other day. But these, I don't have any duplicates. And I don't have a bunch of, like, extra browns or blacks anymore. I got rid of all those, like, a year ago. So I think that's fine. I have up here something fun. Okay. These are all, like, single shadows. This one is super messy. I got this from, like, TikTok shop. There's a bunch of little singles and again I keep these until like there's either too many which I don't think there's an obscene amount of those or they get gross and then I just toss them and then same thing with the glitters like one of my profusion ones the other day my red one dried out so I tossed it the rest of these again I keep them with a bunch of elf glitters if they're not good, I just throw them away. I don't have an obscene amount. They all fit in the baskets. And again, with the liquid shadows, if this gets really overloaded, everything fits. Pigments, loose glitters. Again, those are not like obscene amounts of stuff. So I think that's a good point. Where did we stop? Right face palettes will be next. So we will probably do face palettes in their own video because that's going to take me a minute, but we got the main drawers done. So I didn't declutter a lot. One tinted moisturizer and a powder, and I have friends I can pass these on. Another translucent. These are just translucent powders. A concealer, two concealers, a uh, color corrector, and an eye primer so I'll put these in my basket and then the stuff well I'll either give it to a friend or I'll put it in giveaways so it'll go in my giveaway basket for now so thank you guys so so much for hanging out with me again face palettes will be next and then we'll do like highlighters blush bronzer those will all be separate videos cream products is a drawer that'll be a one video and then eyeshadow palettes so yeah Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a rest, good rest of your day. Bye everybody.